And after missing out on the inaugural IHSA competitive cheerleading state finals just four years ago, the Wildcats now are making it a routine of heading downstate to Bloomington. 25 teams, one trophy. Thousands of fans cheering on the girls that show their school pride all year long. There was no war with 204 this weekend as both Wabonzi Valley and Nequa Valley faced off in the state semifinals. The Warriors finished fifth place in the Belvedere sectional, good enough to advance them to the IHSA state competition here in Bloomington for the very first time. <laughs> Bonzi started off strong with their tumbling, partner stunts, and basket tosses, but it wasn't enough to advance them to the finals. We didn't hit everything that we should have, um, but our routine is very fast and action-packed and never bored, always moving. Um, we ham it up at the end with our dancing skills just to kind of end on a positive note. Even though the Warriors didn't make it to finals, they are proud to meet their year-long goal. Our goal from the beginning of the season was just to make it to state and we met our goal so um, they should be proud of how far they've come. It was first of all an honor to make it here since it's our first year here at IHSA State and hopefully we can come back next year. It was amazing. It was so much fun just coming here and like the whole team was so excited. It was great. Nico Valley is overall just impressive. They tumble, awesome. They stunt, awesome. Our flyers have amazing flexibility. Our basket tosses are super high. We just keep working and working and keep raising the bar and the girls keep achieving it. The Wildcats brought their A game to the semifinals where they finished in fourth place. That's so awesome. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, that's just really amazing and I'm really proud of our team. They did the best they've ever done all season and we cannot have asked for more. The excitement tumbled into Saturday's finals, where once again, Nico went out on the floor and showed their Wildcat pride. Nico pulled off their personal best, finishing fifth in the state. Reporting from the U.S. Cellular Coliseum in Bloomington, Jenny Barger, Naperville Sports Weekly.